going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brad. So, as requested, I'm going to do this little nurse hall, nurse goodies video. And basically, I'm going to show you my nursing textbooks, which I just got today. And my uh, lec the bag I'm going to be taking the lecture and also my clinical bag, one I'm going to be taking with me to clinicals every day. Um, I've never done a nurse hall, nurse goodies, whatever it is, kind of video before, so... There's probably not going to be a real rhyme or reason to this thing, so bear with me. But I'm going to show you what all I got. And I'm going to start with these textbooks here. So, I think there's about nine in all. Um, these are through ATI, as you can see. And actually, believe it or not, this is not all of them. And actually, I'm not even so sure that these are our textbooks. I think I'll show you. Like, for example, Med Surge. They all say review module. So my line of thinking is that these are simply supplementary material um, because we are going to have textbooks, but they're going to be electronic textbooks. And I'm still waiting on the access code before I can get those. But along with that, all of our testing is going to be handled through ATI um, online. And so I believe these are going to be in association with the testing material. But let me go through them real quick. Got the MedSearch textbook, which I don't believe we're going to even be touching on until um, second semester. Uh, let's see. This will be this semester, of course fundamentals this will be as well pharmacology that's gonna be fun so I hear care for children I've, I've skimmed through them too they all seem to be pretty dang nice mental health like I was looking through the fundamentals of nursing book a little bit earlier look just skimming through the health assessment portion, you know, trying to get an idea because I know we're going to be doing that this first semester. I'm just trying to get my feet wet. And then we got these three little ones. Um, nutrition, community health, and leadership. So yeah, um, like I said, it's about nine of these little things in all. Of course, I do believe it's going to be a lot more once I get the access code. But yeah, you can see it's a beast. But those are my little textbooks all through ATI. Too expensive. Um, so yeah. Let's uh, let's get into the clinical bags or into the bags. So the bags look like this. You may have seen them. It's a little logo. I believe it's Swiss Swiss uh, oh, Swiss Gear. Here it is, actually. Swiss Gear makes them. They got these vented bags, so your bag don't get super sweaty. But yeah, they're really nice. They got. Tons of pockets, um, as you've probably seen on most of the book bags nowadays. They've got the pocket in the back where you can put your laptop and charger, take that with you to class. That's what I do all the time. I do all my note taking on my laptop. So, and you know, it's just got pens and pencils. You know, I'm gonna carry all my textbooks in it, carry my laptop with me study on campus, whatever, that's why I have my textbooks with me, and um, yeah, you know, it's just your typical, typical book bag for, for um, ca campus. Identical book bag, different color, well, same company, you know. Also got the vented bag. This is my, this is actually my wife's book bag from when she was in nursing school. Um, but since she doesn't need it anymore, I decided to adopt it as my clinical bag because I didn't feel like taking everything from like taking my clinical stuff out on days that I don't need it. I can just have it all ready to go and I can grab it and head out the door. Here it is. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I have in it. 
Um, well, the first thing that I have in it is this was also my wife's is this drug reference book um 2011 old school you can see it's pretty chewed up it's been abused but yeah i've just been looking through this here recently um trying to study up on some of the more common drugs um but yeah i don't know if i'll be taking this with me i've just had it in there uh over the last few weeks as i've been studying going from place to place like I said, all of our text box, text box, all of our textbooks are supposed to be electronic, but something tells me that we should have a physical copy of an updated nursing drug guide. So um, I'll have that with me. Uh, let's do, I'll just do some of the random stuff. DO degree, you can't go wrong. You get the two pack at Walmart, son, be good to go. This stuff right here, and you know, this stuff right here, uh, can you see, lucky you, ladies, this stuff is phenomenal. They also make, they also make it for ladies. It comes in a pink bottle, and you go to this stuff, you will not go back. I'm telling you, it's my favorite. You know, you, I'm, I'm a big guy, I'll be working and I'll be sweating, I gotta spruce it up a little bit i probably won't be spraying cologne on myself though hand sanitizer of course um ibuprofen because you never know and tums also because you never know and all the rest of these things are going to be things that i'm going to have on my person but i'm going to carry them to the clinical sites in my bag of course you gotta have it and if you didn't watch my unboxing video, it's a pretty nice Litman, um, classic too, I believe. It's got engraved. Yes, I put RN on there already. Why? Because I'm going to be an RN. Nope, if ands or buts. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have this also. This just came in the mail a few days ago, and it's dope. It's my ID badge. If y'all don't know, what that is, kill yourself. No, I'm just joking. That is the University of Miami. Um, I'm from Miami, and I go for the Miami Dolphins, Miami Heat, the Hurricanes. That's what this is, the University of Miami. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I would get that because I saw it, and it was pretty awesome. Okay. I've got these. Of course, you have to have these. You know, you're on the go and you're busy all the time. You like how that matches the stethoscope? I didn't do that on purpose. Um, you got to write down vitals. You got to write down stuff that you need to remember and not forget. You have to have these. Got them. Um, also, well, you've got dry erase marker when you're like getting and giving report highlighters I don't know if I'll take these I'll probably take one with me in the scrub pocket gotta have the sharpie you know dressing changes and hanging out of your bags and jet and stuff of that sort also got this little tape measure my wife got it for me don't know if I'll use it or not she also got me the matching bandage scissors and wah, blind you the pen light with the pupil gauge of course um actually you know this thing is actually pretty nice it's pretty sturdy um i wasn't expecting for it to be so nice and of course you've got batteries um in the bag also because they tend to burn out also got pins galore these two are some chump pins however these I heard people live and die by the four-way pins. I had to get one. Also, this is funny. I'm so ghetto. I took a, a I took a different pin. And it might have been one of these. No, it wasn't one of those. One of these. Took it off, shoved it on this, cause I I didn't like the feeling of just the the plastic. I, I like to have a grip on my pen. Ghetto rigged it. But yeah, you live and die by the four-way pin. And then I also got myself a nice, smooth pen, black ink, you know, 
Um, this is a Dr. Grip. Don't ask. So yeah, okay. And then this thing, I saw this on um, some nursing channels. Foldable clipboard, got it from MD Pocket. This thing is awesome, it's nice. So, it's a freaking clipboard that folds, you know, because you're on the go, you don't have a place to write anything down, you know, you, you don't have a wall to lean against and write stuff down. And furthermore, you don't want to have papers like crumpled up, wadded up into your pocket. Keep them nice, neat, and organized. It's like a little binder for your pocket. Folds up, it goes in your scrub pocket, you're good to go. Sorry, that's my dog. You're good to go. You need to write something, take it out, unfold it. I mean, it's ridiculously convenient. Also, it's lightweight. You know, when I saw all the people's videos, I was thinking, I mean, it looks nice and conceptually it's a nice idea, but it just seems like it's going to be bulky in the way. I mean, it is a little large, but if you have a scrub top that's got the two scrub side pockets, I would show you, but this doesn't have the side pockets. The two side pockets standard size po side pockets it fits all the way down in there up until like here They're just a little bit hangs out of the top to give you an idea for a size reference and um and it's lightweight i mean it kind of hangs down maybe for the ladies it might be uncomfortable i don't know it doesn't bother me though but it's really nice and it's a nice thing to have um yeah i think that's it i think that's everything so, I do believe that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was of some help. Pleasant to watch. Whatever. And, yeah, it's going to be what I take on a day-to-day -day basis. To and from the clinical site. Taking care of patients. I also have one other announcement. Um, just today, I had an interview for a CNA position at a local long-term care facility, and I got it. Thank God. And so I'll be starting that soon with a fellow nursing student who's in nursing school with me. We're going to both be working together, both as new hires at this long-term care facility, which is really awesome. Um, so, you know, I get to, I get to work my way through nursing school, getting some additional, um, hands-on care with patients or, you know, direct care with patients. So I think it's going to be really nice. I'm really happy I got it. And, uh, yeah, it's just a random update. Anyway, it's been Nurse Pass, soon to be, and, uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. I start nursing school in two days. Wednesday is my first day, January 7th. It's on and popping. All right, y'all. Peace. Right back on my sin, but the master is master the savage. I was rapping and preaching straight havoc, but it took me and showed me compassion. Now when I'm rapping, I'm hoping to catch them listeners who listen when I'm spitting these compositions on a mission to lead you to crash when I'm beating the mic to free you from that sin.